Howdy Partnoids, welcome to another CMB Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to modify our combination lock into a nine digit version instead of four. Uh, I had probably about 20 questions or so on this, so I thought I'd cover it as I think it's worthwhile. Um, I used it in building the back cave and it's just a little bit cooler, I think, to have nine digits rather than four. So I'll be showing you how to wire that in fairly neatly. Um, it's quite a difficult task to get it compact, but I think three by nine by whatever it is, one, two, three, four, five, three by nine by five isn't too bad considering it has to always be nine long anyway. A um, little bit disappointed about this bit here, but it's not a lot you can do really. So um, I'll be taking you through that and then I'll show you how to add these note blocks so that you get a bit of noise uh, like this when you're uh, entering your code, which I'll do now. Seven. Nine, eight. We got our little activation noise. So I'll be showing you that, and then I'll just quickly do a brief bit on how you'd extend the four-digit um, combination lock out to nine. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll show you that anyway. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Hokkai. So the first thing we've got to do is uh, our keypad bit, which is three by three buttons on like that and then obviously come around the back and you're just going to put a torch on each block like that uh, so it's not brain science um, so once you've done that you obviously now isolated each torch to a button and then you've got to isolate that further and run it into the decoder so we'll start with the bottom line here and we'll start in the middle so we're going to dig down five like that five long Redstone dust, repeater, dust out there, and then repeater like that. So this repeater is here just to stop it cross-talking with that torch. So now if we press 8, we've got our line completely independent, and these don't affect it at all, as you can see. So that's that, and then these two at the bottom here, uh, 7 and 9, are just out like that. So super simple for that. So now our bottom line... It's completely independent and it's going to run into the decoder that's going to be in here. So that's that. And now this middle torch is going to have a block there with a repeater on it. And then that repeater is going to power a block with a bit of redstone below it like that. And then these torches also in the middle row, they're just going to have two blocks with a repeater there. So this repeater is picking up this torch's power. Redstone dust there. And then just two repeaters out like that again into this row here and then you just do that on the other sides so two blocks off from this torch repeater there redstone dust then two repeaters out like that so that's your middle line done so now if we press six we get this one if we press five we get that cross of redstone in the middle and then if we press four we get this one so they're all independent and then our top line goes like this. So if you want to do three, you've got a block there above that redstone uh, with a bit of redstone dust on top. And then a block here, redstone comes down and a repeater there like that. So now your three is independent. And then one is exactly the same on this side. Two blocks like that. Redstone dust. And then a repeater there. So you've got all eight apart from this one in the middle, which is the one I'm disappointed about. But what you've got to do is run three out, one down, like that. So you bring it all there and you put your repeater at the end, connect it up with redstone dust. Actually, that needs to be a repeater facing that way, just so that it doesn't cross talk with uh, the torch from number three. And that is it. That's it done, basically. So now every line is independently controlled by these buttons and they're going to run in to your decoder which is this here so if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about obviously I'll put uh, the annotation links and all that stuff in the description uh, for the full tutorial on how to build the four digit um, combination lock which is exactly the same system as this all we're doing with the nine um, buttons is obviously adding in this which people are asking me about and also uh, extending the length of the decoder here. So normally in the four digit decoder, 
it's only like that with four torches on top, obviously. But we've just extended it out five here um, so that we can then run it into the RS Norlatch array. So uh, let me just explain a little bit about the note blocks and how we do extend it. Right. So if you want the note blocks in there, which I think is quite a nice little touch to have a sound every time you press the button, you're just going to run these blocks along here and then note blocks on top with the torches. That now obviously means every time you press a button, it's just going to turn off whichever line it is here and allow this torch to turn on and play the note block. So it doesn't matter which one you press, you still have note blocks like that. Um, and then you don't do any kind of decoding from this. You just run repeaters here like you normally would and then you have your second line, or rather you're actually your first line of your decoder here, and then choose whichever gap you want to be your code. Um, now that's that with the note blocks, but if you wanted to just have a decoder straight up without those, you'd have to change it slightly, and I'll explain why. Because there's this redstone cross here, when we go into our decoder, which is a pink block there, with the torch and then the red reset line above obviously um, you've got to be able to power the redstone uh, below here which then runs off into the uh, RS Norlatch array as you guys know but because it's just redstone dust obviously this isn't getting power whereas if it was um, the repeater that was going into it as you can see it's now getting power so all you have to do is extend out uh, the line of repeaters by one uh, like that and then you can just run your decoder properly like that now and obviously set your code so that's just a heads up about this cross of redstone here you do need to extend it out one if you're not going to use those note blocks but if you do use the note blocks you don't have to because you've got the block there like that and then you've got a repeat on the other side which does pick up that signal and then it goes into a normal decoder. So that's just a heads up on that one. Um, and yeah, I mean, as far as expanding it from the four digit uh, combo goes, I'm sure you guys have pretty much worked it out. Um, you've normally got four like that and you've just added in this extra five lot of lines like that. And it just, yeah, it works on exactly the same principle. So um, yeah, that's it for today and cheers for watching.